pull MYDX right now, currently traded at 0081. Uh, you guys have a nice pullback. Obviously, it's not nice if you're uh, you're in there way up there, unfortunately. But let me explain to you guys what happened here. If this is your first time watching, uh, make sure you go check out the video. Penny stock gap ups don't do this on YouTube. Penny stock gap ups don't do this. You'll understand what happens here once you start getting towards the top and the volume starts slowing and how these gaps work. Uh, 0059 can keep going from here, in my opinion. Supports at 0045 and 003. So. Uh, again, let's take a look at this. This is going to be over on the 17th at 5.9 right here. So that's exactly where that red line is where I said it can't keep going from here, in my opinion. Uh, 0059, you guys went all the way up over 100% gain on that one. So keep that in mind. Uh, up 100% four days when I said it can't keep going from here. On Investors Hangout Live. InvestorsHangout.com forward slash live is where we were talking about this then. Uh, there's many gaps here. Uh, look in here. There's a lot. I mean, all the way from back here, it came down, did a lower candle wick fill. Uh, over here was a lower one, didn't fully fill. But now today, you guys just had a big gap up right out of that gate. Uh, now it's starting to pull back. A lot of people that have been trading for a long time taking their profits because they know when it gaps up that big, it's going to start pulling down. And then sometimes it throws it into a panic, and that's kind of what you're seeing here, in my personal opinion. Uh, looking at the volume, the volume's still steady. I mean, that's the thing. The volume is still pretty high here. Uh, we're still pretty early in the day, 1230 Eastern. Uh, so still got some time to go. My personal opinion is that there's a good possibility that this is going to pull down to the 10-day simple moving average. and might get as low as 0053 to fill that gap. You guys might be saying now that I'm crazy. But I look at these charts all day long, and I kind of get a good feel for them. So that's what we're going to be looking for here. Wait for the pullback. I think that it might trend down to the 10-day simple moving average. Again, if you don't agree with me, let me know in a few days from now. All right. So, David, since the last time I went over this with you, well, this one, this one particular company, there's a uh, 8K that was, you know, published on March 17th. So I'm going to pull that up right there. It was on uh, as of as my DX Incorporated previously disclosed in a current report on Form 8K filed on March 10th. The company had sued Phoenix Fund Management LLC to prevent further issuances and conversion notices pursuant to respectively a June 2016 250,000 Section 3A settlement and in October 2016 1 million convertible promissory, promissory note. Between February 23rd, 2017 and March 8th, 2017, Phoenix submitted five issuance or conversion requests to the company's transfer agent for a total of 239,188,023 shares of the common stock. As a result of the settlement described below, none of these shares share were issued. None of these share were issued. All right, so that's how it says it. All right, so on March 10th, 2017, the company entered into a settlement agreement with Phoenix dated March 9th, 2017. Pursuant to the Phoenix settlement, Phoenix has agreed it is no longer entitled to any shares pursuant to these two agreements, which are now considered paid in full. On March 15th, 2017, in connection with the Phoenix settlement, the company filed a motion to dismiss the pending lawsuit with the 11th Judicial Circuit of Florida. On March 13th, the company and Bright Light Marketing Incorporated, in a settlement related to Phoenix Settlement, entered into a settlement agreement dated March 10th, 2017. In 2016, BLM, BLM notified the company that Phoenix was a potential lender. Pursuant to the BLM settlement, BLM will pay the company a total of $217,500 over the next 12 months BLM, blm is due to pay the first hundred thousand within 30 business days of signing of the blm settlement blm will pay the company ten thousand per month on the first day of the next 11 months with full payment of 70 what is it, seven thousand five hundred due on march 1st 2018. so on march 14th 2017 the company and Vista Capital Investments LLC entered into a settlement agreement dated March 14, 2017. Vista claimed and the company disputed 
that Vista was still entitled to certain payments pursuant to convertible primary notes the company previously issued on March 13, 2017. Vista submitted a conversion request of 68,437,500 shares of the company's common stock pursuant to the Vista settlement. The company issued 35 million shares to Vista on March 14, 2017 and all convertible promissory notes issued by the company to Vista are now considered paid in full. So that was that recent thing right there. Let's see. So then I scroll down right there to the unregistered sales and equity securities. You scroll down to that one, go to that second paragraph right there. So from from November 22nd, 2016 to March 16th, 2017, the company as issued in reliance upon Section 4 of the Securities Act, 1,086,998,015 shares of the common stock at a weighted average price per share of 001096, pursuant to the conversion notices of the convertible promissory notes, uh, outstanding totaling approximately 1,164,000. And the shares are total. The, the shares were issued to a total of five lenders. All right, so that's that. Uh, let's see. So as of March 16th, the remaining principal balance owed by the company pursuant to a convertible primary sale note is 35,000, owed to one lender. This primary sale note is not convertible prior to March 13th, 2017. So I mean, this is basically you got a lot of them things different like paid off. I guess you could say. Uh, I don't know. You can basically go do some more due diligence, see what's going on with the company in general, because I mean, a lot of these promissory notes are paid off and see what their debt's like and everything else. So get your due diligence going. Go right over to that MYDX board. Go right over to the filings and go rip through these things because there's obviously a lot of stuff going on. And uh, if you have an opinion on the company, just go right over to that message board and share it with the tens of thousands of like minded investors that we have using the site daily. All right, remember that. That's what Joe just said. Over here is all these buttons for MYDX, especially the time in sales. It's a great tool if you don't trade all day and you can come home from work or whatever the case might be and look at each trade, uh, the price and volume over here on investorshangout.com, completely free. Most sites charge you for this. Again, over here is completely free. So 008, in my opinion, will pull down to the 10-day simple moving average 0053 area. Support is 0064, 0053, and 0032. Dave. Go ahead, there was a press release. Yeah, there was a press release since the last time we went over it, too. So it was uh, M MYDX announces resolution of key liabilities that position the company to unlock its true value. And that was on March 17th. So uh, I don't know. That, that That's something you probably want to go back and read, too, to get more of an understanding. Because they have that, um, what it is, is the, what is it? The first multi-use handheld chemical analyzer designed for the cannabis professional and retail consumer to correlate the chemical profile of cannabis with how it makes consumers feel and how it helps them relieve today. Well, on March 17th, announced a successful resolution of continuous relationship with the company and its toxic convertible debentures. So, I mean, I went through and read the, the actual, you know, the AK on all of it, but this right here is more like talking about the, it went into more of a detail on things. So I, I want to read just this uh, CEO statement. To say the least, the last few weeks have been a battle where we are proud to share that we fought hard and won in reaching our resolution for the convertible note liabilities on our balance sheet, stated Daniel Yazbek, chairman and CEO of MyDX. This uh, critical step has ultimately paved the way for the company to focus on the next phase of its business, where it will leverage its out crowdsourced data to develop unique feeling and ailment specific product formulations for the cannabis market, just as important, it positions the company to attract growth capital at a fixed price, which I believe will unlock the true value of the enterprise. With almost nine million having been invested to date in a review of our peer companies that are trading at extraordinary valuations, we believe our stakeholders are well positioned for tremendous growth in our market. Yeah, the Yazbek. As of today, which is March, uh, you know, March. 17th the remaining principal balance owed for the principal primary note is 35,000 eligible for payoff and not convertible into equity prior to May 13th 2017 so that is that so we basically got to see what's going on with this uh 
the, my diagnostic thing, the handheld chemical analyzer, you know, sales wise when that goes. All right, so that's pretty much that, Dave. I just wanted to cut that off because I didn't see that press release. You know, well, we never read it. All right, 008, my opinion, will pull down the 10-day simple moving average. Remember, this is based off the chart. Uh, obviously, like Joe said, there's a lot going on with the company as well. Uh, 0053 area, in my opinion, support at 0064, 0053, and 0032 is going to be at support. Resistance at 00, I'm sorry, 0119. If you follow this one, definitely encourage you to hit that like and subscribe button. Share this video on different social networks, forums, and message boards. Get the word out there. We would appreciate it. Uh, and hopefully that this, this video will help you understand what this company does a little bit better. Uh, if you have a hot stock other than this one that you'd like to share with us, you can do so at investorshangout.com forward slash live.